and this is TT Artisan 100 millimeters 2.8 macro and this is like maximum magnific magnification and let's zoom out And let's try something similar what you all have like shutter button let's zoom maximum this is like maximum sorry for shaking hands And here is our TT Artisan 100 Macro. Build quality looks nice one. There are some locks. You can see it's like uh, tilting, shifting. We can unlock here. Shifting, tilting. Uh, with one hand I can like rotate like this one and focusing is very interesting here's like little sticker I will try to show you Do you see here inside it's like metal plate or metal stick interesting never see the lens design like this one Build quality looks nice. Uh, I will try to review some test shots. I'll put some videos you can like see how it's render image. Shifting, tilting, rotating. Nice one. Nice price. I'm very happy that different companies are making lenses you can try them sell if you don't want don't lose a lot of money if you break it it's not in pain like if you drop something like this one it's like 200 2500 2, euros at least you will not die for that nice one Now you can see I bought this lens for my Nikon Z system. I made some videos I will show you here. How it performs, uh, how it looks uh, and I have some test shots quickly done. Uh, I had a walk with my son in a park and make some test, just simple test shots. Let's see them. Here is at home. Tilted, and you can see the sharpness uh, are in different, like a plane. Not usual how we see from the left to the right, but sharpness are in a deep. And I think it's very good result. Here's like 100 zoom in, little greenish here in the sun, but, but sharpness and it's 2.8. Uh, 
S. I think it's very good result. Here is no, uh, no tilting, no shifting, just straight. At two point two point eight sharpness is normal. You see, I just catch it here, here very good, and here I shifted the focus. You can see focus are in the face and here in the trees and you can see that let's make some auto adjustments and you can see the sharpness here is very good and it's like going like that and here the sharpness are just perfect you can see every leaf on a tree here is the same in this part I just rotate my camera sharpness here perfect and you can see it was going somewhere here here's some just city random shot but sharp is not so perfect, I don't know why. The shutter speed is one one thousandth of a second. Okay, let's go next one. Some random shots to see the sharpness. Sharpness is perfect and all my shots are on are on two point eight. Here I was interesting to see how it renders blur out of focus. And the direct sun. Auto. Interesting. No no chromatic aberrations or a little bit some greenish and purple going out here I tilted the lens to make this out of blur out of focus zone more bokeh and the sharpness is still perfect I like I like how it performs, how it renders the image. Here's like extreme shifting or tilting. And you can see that focus are here and straight like a knife. Very sharp. I'm going back. And if you want that kind of effect, this lens, I think it's very good for what, what Price are excellent and the pe performing the sharpness, the out of focus blur, and you can see the sharpness are like going here perfectly till the end. It's very very sharp. And the chromatic aberrations are like five percent. You you can't see them. You can try to remove it, but it's. I think the quality of the lens are very good for that price. And the sharpness you can see here is like perfect. I was trying to catch this, but I just find, catch it here. Let's try this one. The next next shot will be more let's put auto and you can see the sharpness and this is still images raw images from a camera you can see the sharpness are here and here like incredible shot it's not like uh, all the tree are in focus and all background are blurred but the sharpness are like a uh, in that direction and you can see that everything is perfect sharp 
and here is excellent sharpness too and this is 2.8 f i love it here I was trying to catch some my kid's eye but in ma maximum magnification but you can see it was very hard because he was moving i was moving handheld uh, ca handheld camera and it was difficult the shutter is 100 maybe an iso 400 but here you can see the maximum i can get it is challenging to to catch in perfect focus because if you move a little bit here you can see a dr dramatical movements and out of focus and this is outside in the park just standing And perfect we can just make some little adjustments I saw 800 is doing nice I think it's for the price it's very good very good lens or some macro shots and tilting and shifting effects here was at home I said him to sit down and don't move the head and still it was too challenging to catch focus oh I think this is nice maybe in studio with studio strobes more light because this is ISO 400 and this is still 2.8 I think we can get better effects if in studio where he where we have more lights and we can put F like 8 or something more to, to catch more sharpness more deep sharpness I think perfect this lens is very good I will put some videos to see maybe somebody wants to see how it performs on a on a movement or some interesting uh, movie effect okay thank you
need uh, full information, the AP.